That's all you really need to know because it's far easier to start a war than to build a school. So there's a lot of people who don't want people to be educated. They don't want to, people to travel to find out the truth. And one of the reasons I, I, I went to North Korea uh, was it took me three years to get that visa and I finally went. And what did I see? A bunch of poor, terrified people and a terrifying government. The people were afraid to look at me because they didn't know what I was. They're like, I might be a spy, I might be a government agent. If I smile, I, you know, if they smile at me and say, and nod, they might be seen as being complicit with an American and they will get questioned. And when you see men and women living in an existence of fear, they pass the trauma on. The children are raised with fear and their lives are awful. And so I went, I was in Pyongyang and the surrounding areas for a week and it was very, very sad. And I had this uh, government spy uh, with me every day, two of them actually. They were very suspicious why I was traveling alone. Because there's groups there, there's some Australians, some Norwegians, some Brits, and they're all together. But I'm alone and I'm the only person in that general time of tourism who was alone. And they were really on me. And every day, what did you say you did for a living? And I had to lie. So I can't say, I've done a bunch of records, wrote a bunch of books, I'm in a bunch of movies, I'm just a pain in the ass in every media that you can imagine. That's not a satisfactory answer, so I had to kind of lie. I said, I'm an editor, which I am, of my own work, and I work at a publishing company that I own. And like, <laughs> what kind of books do you edit? Really boring ones. And I was just, truth, truth, truth. And by the end of it, Kim, the male, uh, the, there's a male and female, and the, the woman rarely spoke to me, she just took notes. But Kim and I spoke all the time. And finally, right towards the end, they took me back to the airport. I'm flying back to Beijing. And he kind of broke. And, and he grabbed me by both my arms and shook me. He said, you are my friend. And he hugged me. And, and to see him overcome his suspicion of me. And, and you know how we men are. I'm, I, I love you, man. We just can't say, you are my friend and I love you. We have to go, I love you, man. You know, it's a different kind of love. And I can't hug you because that's you know, really lovey-dovey. It's all just like, yeah, man, I love you. But he put his arms around, like, wham! And like, kind of, like, his chin and cheek are, like, into my chest. I'm like, oh. And I said, oh, well, he said, one day, I will come to visit you. And I said, yeah, man, you go on the internet and you look me up. <laughs> and when you get to L.A., man, I'll pick you up at your hotel. I'll take you out for the best burrito you've ever had. And he said, yes! What's a burrito? I said, doesn't matter. You will dig it after bite one. And I would love nothing more than to get an email from Kim saying, hey, I'm down the street from Yeoman in Hollywood. Come and pick me up. And I would like for Kim to see my country. I'd like him to get out of North Korea and see what the rest of the world is like instead of fearing it and thinking that my country wants to kill all the people in his country. And this is why I travel, not because I'm the nicest guy, because I'm a human, I have my good days and my bad days, but I'm so angry at the perversion of goodness in the world. I'm so angry at the next war. I'm so angry at the stinginess of rich people. There's two very, very wealthy people in America. They're brothers, you've heard of them, the Koch brothers. And I'm not here to beat up on them. I'm here just to make a, 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 an observation. Every third word out of their mouth is tyranny. Their, their, their current president is a tyrant, and they exist in this world of tyranny. It's, a, it's, it's tyrannical these times. You have $34 billion in your bank account. You can own a country. You can have anyone you want killed with a death ray. You can do as much pizza and sushi as you want. What tyranny do you understand? Shouldn't you be making the world a better place? Well, it's not going to be the Koch brothers, so it might as well be you. And so, in my opinion, I'm just, I can't tell you what to do. You're big, strong, grown-up, sexy adults. But if you don't have a passport, get one.